So last April, I participated in a game jam called Ludum Dare. Yeah, I know it's kind of late because it's September now and a little days left before October. But yeah. So for anyone of you who didn't know what a game jam is, basically it's a game development tournament-like event where all game developers who've joined have only one week to develop a game that is based on a specific theme. And the theme for this game jam was deeper and deeper. So in this video, I'm going to show you the development process of what I did for this game jam. So the idea that I come up in this game was a dungeon crawler or a roguelike shooter kind of game where you are in a dungeon room and per room there's a wave of enemies that you needed to defeat. Then if you survive, the door below will open and after entering into another room, there's another wave with more enemies that gets a little stronger like a faster fire rate or a higher health uh, or other stuffs like uh, enemies with different gun or new set of enemies, something like that. So to make it simple, the deeper the room you are, the harder it gets to survive. Deeper and deeper. Right? So after finalizing the idea, I opened up Unity and created a new project for this jam. And after Unity opens up, I first prepared the folders that I needed and then I immediately started making the character. I'm gonna be using only shapes that is built in in Unity sprites because I'm not that good in game arts. And just like other developers out there, I often make the character controller first so that it'll be easy to test or easy to adjust, something like that. And after some time, we now have a simple top-down controller. Then I imported a free asset from the asset store called Shapes2D, which is very convenient and very useful when creating characters using shapes and also for the UI. So if you want to add something like outlines or borders and other stuffs, you can just use this tool without leaving the Unity to use other softwares like Photoshop or anything to do it. And I'll leave the link in the description for you to check it out. It is very cool. And actually, I used this to create the level or the room of the game. So here, I just created a box and then I added some borders and outlines to make a some kind of a wall. And to make it into a real wall, I added a collider. Here, I use edge colliders since it's just a line that you can adjust while placing it. So it is perfect for this kind of a room that I did. And the next thing that I added was the gun or the weapon of the player and the camera follow and bounds. And also I added the character's rotation based on the position of the cursor. And of course, since we now have a gun, I immediately started working on the bullet or simply the shooting mechanic of the player. And again, I used shape 2D to make the bullet and after some bit of a coding, we can now make the character shoot. Yay! Since we now have the basic features for the player, it's time now to add the enemies. Because shooting are useless if we don't have enemies or anything to shoot, right? So I started creating the enemies which are also shapes. Then I also gave them a gun and a shooting mechanic. And for their movements, I follow Blackthorn's Pro tutorial where the enemies will follow the player and when it reaches a certain distance to the player, it will stop moving. And if the player moves away, it will continue following the player. And I also added a post-processing bloom effect to spice up the loop. And I added a particle effect when the enemy dies or enemy spawn. So far, it is looking good since we now have the basic concept of the player and the enemies. And the only thing left to do is the wave per room or the main concept of the deeper and deeper team. But unfortunately, the recording file of that gets corrupted so I can't show it to you. But I can still show you the look of the game that has the wave per room. And here is what it looks like. I also added some screen shakes when the enemy dies and then they will drop a coin for the player's upgrades. And also the UI for the room number and the player's health. 
But sadly, I didn't finish the game and this is the only progress that I made due to some agendas that I needed to do. And as you can see, there's still no main menu, there's no sounds, and also the character selection. But the thing is, I'm planning to update this game into a full game. Yay! Since I kinda like the concept that I made and since I'm planning to release another game this year or next year or I don't know. So if you ever reacted to the Edge Collider for the room that I made, I will probably change it into a better collider. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get notified when I upload another video about this game. And also comment down below if you have some suggestions about this game. So again, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!